Welcome to week 30 of the Homeschool Prayer Challenge. I'm Sarah and I'm really excited that you are joining me this week, that you're putting in that intentional time to pray for your homeschool, pray for your family, and I truly hope that this will be an encouragement to you. So when I began this Homeschool Prayer Challenge, I set it up so that Really, someone could join at any point during the year. You may have joined around the new year, which is when I typically begin promoting this a bit more, but really, anyone can join at any time. That being said, this week, for me, is when back to homeschool is really on my mind. Now, if you join the challenge at a different time, you might not be in back to homeschool mode at the moment, and that's okay. While we will be praying this week for this particular season of preparing for a new homeschool year, I think, I hope you'll be able to apply some of the things I share today, no matter what point of the year you are in right now. But as the back to homeschool season approaches, many of us might find ourselves deep in planning mode and preparing for the upcoming year. Choices to make and tasks to complete, um, just to get everything ready can feel overwhelming and maybe they felt that way for a few months leading up to this. I personally take comfort in knowing that nothing is too difficult for God, even though things feel difficult for me at times. Jeremiah 32, 17 says, Ah, sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. This verse should serve as a powerful reminder to us of God's omnipotence, and the truth that the same God who created the heavens and the earth by his great power is the one who is with us as we prepare for this new school year. Keeping this in mind, there are three things I want to encourage you to do as you head into this new homeschool year. The first thing is to continue to trust God to guide you in your decisions and to make decisions confidently, knowing that he is with you and working all things for your good and his glory. We don't have to make our decisions alone and we don't have to be paralyzed in fear about any decision we make or anything that we need to make in our homeschools or with our kids. God knows us and our kids intimately, and when we feel overwhelmed by what's before us, we can turn to him in prayer, trusting that he will be with us. Pray for wisdom and discernment over your homeschooling choices. Ask God to show you what options, activities, and opportunities will best support your children's unique learning styles and needs. Remember that he is our good shepherd, guiding us with love and care, and his wisdom is available to us. The second encouragement as we head into the new homeschool year is to embrace the journey with faith. Homeschooling is more than just academic instruction. It's a journey of faith. Each day presents opportunities for us and our kids to grow closer to God and opportunities for us to teach our children about his love and power. Plan to incorporate prayer into your daily routine this year, both for yourself and with your children. Let them see you relying on God and encourage them to do the same. When challenges arise, remind yourself and your children of God's faithfulness. Use moments of difficulty as teaching opportunities to show how God provides and cares for us, even in the smallest details of our lives. Finally, let's go into this new homeschool year with the reminder to see God in every subject we teach our kids and to honor him by what we learn. This is one of the unique benefits of homeschooling. We don't just get to teach our kids facts and information. We have the privilege of teaching them how everything we learn can be used for the glory of God. We get to show them how he is present in all aspects of life. In science, we marvel at the wonders of his creation. In history, we can explore how God's hand has been at work throughout time. As we study literature, we can discuss morality and faith with our kids. Even in math, we see the order and precision of God's design, and they reflect the order and reliability of his nature. Numbers, patterns, and equations reveal a creator who is logical and consistent, so we can teach math this year, so we have a language we can use to make sense of the intricacies of God's creation. When we teach from a biblical worldview, we can help our kids see that their relationship with the Lord is not a separate thing, that religion is not a separate subject, but it's integral to everything we learn and do. Let me pray for us for this upcoming homeschool year. Heavenly Father, I praise you for being our good shepherd. 
in your omniscience, you lead and guide us each day, not growing faint or weary as I so often do. As we head into this new school year, I am faced with so many choices from curriculum to co-ops and everything in between. Sometimes it feels like an uphill battle trying to weed through the options and find just the right tools to support my kids' learning. I'm so thankful for the reminder that with you though, nothing is too difficult and you are by my side the entire time. I pray this week that I delight in spending time in your presence, learning more and more each day to follow your leading in our homeschool. Guide me to the tools and materials I need to teach my children. Let me be open to each of my kids' learning styles this year and give me wisdom to make changes when necessary. I pray that I will be knowledgeable and confident in teaching them and that they will be willing and eager to learn. Let us use each opportunity for learning in our homeschool this year as a chance to see you in every subject and in the world around us. Thank you for revealing yourself to us through your creation that we enjoy so much. You alone are worthy of all praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, friends, take a minute to head to the Prayer Challenge dashboard where you can print off this prayer and some reflection sheets. And remember that you are not alone as you head into this new homeschool year. God is with you, providing strength, wisdom, and guidance. So lean on Him in every decision. Embrace each day with faith and trust Him through the challenges that will arise. You are doing an amazing job in making an impact on your children's lives. I will see you next week.